Hey, welcome back. Today we're talking about real estate investor capital referrals. Step number four, which is clear communication. So on today's video, we're on step number four of our number one real estate investor referral process. And today we're talking about clear communications. This is super important when you're getting an investor refer somebody to you is that you keep them in the loop as to what's going on with that valuable relationship that they have loaned to you of their friend, their family member, their business associate. It's about keeping them in the loop, keeping that communication open. Check it out. So keeping your investors informed throughout the entire process of them referring somebody to you is really, really important. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever referred somebody to another person, to another vendor, to a real estate agent, to a carpet cleaner, to your banker, to whatever? And then after you'd made the referral, you heard crickets. And you end up knowing that, yeah, that those people actually ended up doing business, but you never ever heard anything about it from the person you referred the per your, your friend to. It's very annoying. It's very frustrating uh, to feel that. It's not even so much about getting compensated. It's about being feeling like you're appreciated for making the referral. So we don't want to make that mistake with our investors. First of all, they've invested 50, 75, 100 grand with us, whatever it is. We want to make sure that they're super happy. Second thing is we want to encourage them to refer more people to us. So it's very important that we keep them in the loop. Let's see how. Okay, the first thing you want to keep communicating about are the booking updates. So for example, we talked in the last video about how to ask for referrals, how to get those referrals, how to make it easy. So once you have been referred, the, your investor knows that they've referred somebody, they've connected somebody to you, you want to keep them up to speed on what's going on, right? So let's say your investor's name is Joe, they referred you to Fred, you want to keep Joe informed every step of the way as to what's happening without going overboard, right? So for example, if I set up a meeting with Fred, I would shoot Joe a quick little message, quick little email, a direct message, text message, whatever, saying, uh, hey Joe, just wanna let you know that I'm getting together with Fred Tuesday at three to take a look at the investment. I'll keep you posted, all right? That's good, so now Joe feels comfortable, he knows that Fred's being taken care of, he knows that he is in the loop. That's gonna make him feel much more comfortable. Now, why is this so important? Because Joe's putting a lot of trust into you by referring his friend or his brother-in-law or his whatever, Fred, to you. That's a lot of trust. So you want, to, you want to respect that trust and that relationship. All right, the next time that we want to keep Joe in the loop is with the post-meeting update. So I've met with Fred. We've had the conversation. He's either interested, he's not interested, whatever's, whatever's happened. I want to let Joe know exactly what happened. Send him a quick little text message, or an email, whatever it is. Hey Joe, met with Fred, great guy, really enjoyed our meeting. Uh, we went through everything and for it, it's just not a good fit for Fred right now. Doesn't look like this is gonna work out for with Fred, not at the moment anyhow, but I just wanna let you know, thanks so much for making that introduction. Or maybe it did work out well, you go, hey Joe, just wanna let you know, had a great meeting with Fred, Looks like things are going along and I'm gonna keep him informed when I've got a deal available for him. So thanks so much for the referral, okay? Again, just a quick little note, quick little message, keeping Joe informed as to how things are going. All right, the next time I wanna keep Joe informed is if I start doing the deal with Fred, right? Again, a quick little email, a quick little text message, whatever, don't go overboard with this, but just a, a quick update. Joe, just want to let you know that Fred's on board. I'm going to be working with him. We're going to be working together on my next Burr project. Really excited. I'll keep you posted as things go along as well. But thanks again so much for that referral. Quick little net message. So again, Joe knows exactly what's going on. How's that going to make Joe feel? It's going to make him feel really good, very comfortable that his friend, Fred, is in good hands, that I'm taking good care of that relationship, that I am a good steward of that relationship that he's got with Fred. Because the last thing he wants to see happen is for me to flake out and let his buddy down. Because if I do that, that reflects badly on Joe. Does that make sense? So that's the whole next step. 
and that is to respect that relationship. Chances are Joe and Fred have known each other for years, maybe even decades, and they have allowed us into, they have allowed me into that relationship. So it's really important that we, we respect that, right? It's very, very, very important that we treat Fred like gold because he is a good friend of your investor, Joe. So again, always keep that in mind. And open communication is the best way to show your investor that you take their uh, referrals seriously and that you appreciate them very much. So make sure you keep your investors in the loop. All right. Now, did you like that idea? If so, you can have the entire PDF infographic of this whole number one investor referral process. Just click on the link in the description below. You can find out exactly how to get that. And if you're looking for the entire process of how to attract investors and raise capital, how to raise six figures in a matter of weeks and seven figures in a matter of months, then go ahead and grab this resource. It's my book, Money Partner Formula. The price is right. It's free. You can get a copy at investorattractionbook.com or a link will be in the description below. Grab yours today.